What's up guys, it's your boy Chris coming at you again with another Madden tip. I got a play for you today that does a really good job at isolating a linebacker and really making him choose which guy he wants to defend and hitting the other guy. It's actually a very popular concept that's used in the pros. I see the Patriots use it all the time. Um, it's one of their favorite plays. It's Pat's White out. Now, I do change it up a little bit based on what the tendencies of the opponent are. Tampa 2 is the only way of really making me hold the ball longer than I want to with the way I set it up. But the play as is is designed to beat Tampa 2. So I personally see Tampa 2 all the time. So you might want to leave it as is. It's just really based on tendencies. I'll show you both ways and what difference it has. But let's get right into it. We're going to run it against random. I like to slant RB, and that's the only change I like to make. Now, what I like to do is I like to read that middle linebacker or, you know, like whatever the left linebacker is. There really isn't one right here. There's one on the line. He's probably going to be going into a purple or he's going to be rushing me. Uh, maybe that safety I might keep an eye on. But really what you're doing here is you're, you're, you're bringing RB across, and it's like a high-low read between RB and X. And, I mean, that's not the only thing you can hit. Don't get me wrong. There, You can hit the A is a really good out route. Um, not all out routes in this game are created equally. They're, um, they are different, and this one's pretty good. As you can see, it's the main read. Um, and if you leave the uh, play as is, the play is designed to get it to A. I mean, you can get it to him like every single time for the most part. I mean, there are certain cover twos that can give it some issues. Like that one. Um, I'll just keep throwing it just to show you. I mean, it's just, it's a really good play to get the ball to your playmaker. And in the Patriots case, it's um, Gronkowski. So when you got them lined up and straddled up in the A-gaps like that, the linebackers, um, one of them is probably going to drop, or maybe both. If they both drop, I'm reading that left one, the one that's on the left of the center. I want to see if he drops deep. If he doesn't drop deep, then I can hit um, X. But if he drops deep, I can hit RB. So let me snap the ball. They both drop. And that's what I'm talking about. I just possession catch it, get my 15. I'm going to read him again, the guy that's right above the left guard. So it's going to be some kind of blitz. I could probably get the ball out to Y or RB pretty quickly. Now I made the wrong read. It's RB. You got to make RB. I just got a little panicked about the blitz. So let's see. Try to get the Y. I mean, this is not something you're going to see on a 30 yard line. All right. So read number 55. Get it to RB. Get your 15 yards. Blitzing is not going to really help them in this case. They really need to run Tampa 2 because if they run Tampa 2, that's going to make you hold the ball longer than you feel comfortable holding it. And if they have good pass rushers, I should have hit RB. He was wide open. I was uh, too busy talking. But um, Tampa 2 will definitely make you feel uncomfortable. And I'll show you that you can beat Tampa 2 as well. Um, just makes you hold it a little bit longer. Possession. Okay, so they're gonna probably gonna be blitzing. I'm gonna try to hit Y. Um, usually he gets a nice little speed on it on that out. Speed burst, I should say. Read that left linebacker. Is he dropping deep? He is dropping deep. Get the ten. Don't be greedy. Don't try to fit it into X like I did earlier. So let's see what happens here. Blitzing just doesn't help them because they're leaving that middle exposed. Usually when you're blitzing, you got like one hook in the middle and you got two purples. The purples are being occupied. And you're targeting the middle pretty hardcore with uh, B on his post and you got the slant and you got the other post. So just like that. I mean, it's not flashy, guys. I know that. I mean, it's, it's a slant. But it's just concept stuff. That make it really easy to target that one player 
and make him pick. He has to pick. Now I'm about to pull up Tampa 2 for you guys just so you guys get an idea of that. You guys should really get this. I mean, you know, you can actually hit A out of this too. I mean, B just takes too long uh, to really hit, in my opinion. It's a really deep post. I mean, he doesn't make his break until 15 yards. A is also an option, and then I'll show you before I go to Tampa 2. Usually you can hit Y as well, but not there. Y does get open a lot, and sometimes it gets matched up on a linebacker. If you got a fast running back, uh, just forget about it. He'll get open. So I'm going to go to Tampa 2 now just to show you because it's really – I know there's different kind of cover twos that can, can give it problems as well, but Tampa 2 really is the one that you want to focus on. One where the, the middle linebacker drops deep. You know, Sink does it too, but go to Pat's White out. And we'll go to Nickel 245, Tampa 2. So let me just run it as I've been doing it. And I'll just show you. Pretty much everything's covered. You can hit him right there. He's going to get popped. I mean, because the middle linebacker is dropping with A. So, I mean, you have to fit it in, like, immediately. I mean, you have to. But the problem is he's probably going to be mixing in his Tampa 2 uh, well. So it's really hard to just throw it confidently that quickly. It's like, oh, Tampa 2, bam. Like, it's not easy to do because people mix up their coverages. And that's the only window you have because, look, if you let it go a little further... Well, it worked out there, but usually that linebacker will come and crack on him. Just trust me on it, guys. Not a good play against Tampa 2. So, just watch. I'll try to hit Y. He'll get five yards. Um, that's as good as it's going to get. That cornerback will tackle you every time. Uh, we can try to hit A. X is definitely going to be covered. Now I'll show you what can get open. You just got to hold the ball longer. We're going to try to hit A. You can do that. If you just if you're really good at hanging in the pocket, do that. Now I'll show you there's a better way to occupy that um that hook. Just leave the play as is. If you know they're in Tampa 2, they're just they're whoring with Tampa 2. Very easy to make this play. You can actually throw it quicker. Much quicker because of... Uh, I'll just show you. The corner above number 15. He drops further because he has to... His responsibilities are deeper down the field. And then the the flat zone that is is occupied by 15. And it's easy to get that out route. I mean, that's the best way to beat Tampa 2 on this play. Other than that, I mean, it, it beats everything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's aim for 20 likes. really helps me out. And if you enjoy Daily Matic content, please hit the sub button. And um, enjoy your football Sunday, guys. Take it easy.